the Scarborough Waterfront Project is something that's been on the TRCA and the City of Toronto's books since 1967, part of a much larger regional plan. Um, it has taken this long to actually start moving through an environmental assessment process. So this project that we're working on right now goes in the west at Bluffers Park and moves easterly 11 kilometers over to East Point Park. The area that we're talking about while well, the environmental assessment study is a addressing the entire area right up to Kingston Road. The real area that we're working on though is the very top of the bluff and the bottom of the bluff. It's just really the bluff face. We're not looking to uh, put in buildings, we're not looking to do anything but improved access via a trail and some shoreline protection. Mother Nature is going to continue to erode East Point Park. The wave action is going to continue as as today. You know so it's it's really trying to find the balance and the way we're doing that is We've had a significant amount of public consultation that have helped guide what the overall vision was for the project, what our objectives should be for the project, and it also helped us decide what the range of options we should look at. Um, the idea is to provide recreation opportunities, improve public access, improve safety throughout the 11 kilometers between East Point Park and Bluffers Park. We'll look for habitat enhancement. There are so many natural significant features along the bluffs. We want to make sure that we're being very thoughtful about where we're providing access, making sure that it's good for the public but also good for the significant character of the bluff. We really want the public to see that they made a change, they've influenced the plan, that they really embrace the plan at the end of the day. Everybody's opinion is valued by us, we are listening and we are actually putting forward all of those things within our plan and if you participate throughout it'll not only address what Scarborough needs but that the City of Toronto needs. It'll be a huge asset for the province as well and we think that everybody will love it once it's done.